It is my pleasure to welcome Her Excellency Ms. Mette Frederiksen, of President of Denmark. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have two paths in front of us. The first one leads to a future destroyed by climate change. Extreme weather events, rising sea levels, wildfires and heat waves. That is where we are headed right now. The other path leads to a green, sustainable future. Clean energy, clean air, green jobs and better lives. It is not a real choice. The green future is the only way forward, and we all need to ramp up ambitions. Denmark has decided to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 70% in 2030. Our experience shows that green transition can go hand in hand with sustainable growth, jobs and welfare. Of course, all countries need a fair chance and all countries need to take responsibility. The richest countries have to deliver on climate finance. Therefore, Denmark aims to mobilize at least 1% of the promised $100 billion by 2023. And 60% of Denmark's climate aid will help the most vulnerable nations adapt to climate change. Now I will speak on behalf of the Faroe Islands and Greenland. As a self-governing country in the Kingdom of Denmark, Faroe Islands have their own climate policy. The government is now preparing their climate contribution according to the Paris Agreement. This includes ambitious carbon reduction goals set by the national parliament early next year. The green transition of the Faroe Islands includes a conversation to 100% renewable electric production by 2030. Greenland is a self-governing Arctic country of the Kingdom of Denmark. In Greenland, as you all know, dramatic climate changes are already visible. This affects the, the livelihood and biodiversity in Greenland. Greenland has taken an important step to hold all new oil and gas uh, exploration licenses. In a few years, 90% of electricity produced in Greenland will be sustainable. The Prime Minister of Greenland has informed me on the government's decision to enter the Paris Agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to choose our future, a brighter, greener, future for the generations to come. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency.